Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a three box break of 2023 Panini Donners football. Uh, three box random team break number one. One spot gets you two. So we only sold 16 spots, all card ship. You know, we're looking for rated rookie stuff. We're looking for downtowns. We're looking for all sorts of fun stuff. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's double you up, uh, double up, uh, uh. And all 32 teams are in no combos. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams two and six, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a two, seven, and eight. Got eight times. We got Matt down to Matt after eight. And then two and a six, eight times for the NFL teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Got the Rams down to the boys. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Matt with the Rams, Tristan with the Ravens, Ryan with the Vikings and Bills. Andrew with the Eagles, Tristan with the Chargers and Lions, Ryan with the Commanders, Joe with the Packers, Mark with the Buccaneers, Matt with the Jaguars. Nicholas, you got the Titans, Matt with the Patriots, Giants, Steelers and Falcons, Tristan with the Browns, Matt with the Panthers, Joe with the Texans, Devin with the Bengals, Nicholas with my Raiders, Matt with the Jets, Mark with the Bears, Ryan with the Niners, Joe with the Cardinals and Chiefs, Devin with the Colts, Andrew with the Seahawks, Joe with the Saints and the Dolphins, Matt with the Broncos and the Cowboys. Now let's sort alphabetically by team. And there's the three boxes right here. Remember, each box has one autograph and one memorabilia card on average. So we're gonna pause the video and allow for some trades. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. So stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back folks. No deals were done, so that list is now officially printed out. Friday the 19th. Special Friday with Joe. I'm usually not on Fridays. I was out of town last weekend, switched things up with Jay, who covered for me. Now I'm taking care of this day. But Friday, I like these Friday vibes here. Thanks everyone. Thanks everyone for joining, for making things happen. Another three box break is loaded up if you want to run this back. Uh, we, got, we got some hoops on in the background. It's a hoops kind of day. What's going on in the NFL? My Raiders officially hiring Antonio Pierce as the coach. I like that. You know, I feel like he could be like a sort of a Dan Campbell type. It's more of an overall kind of leader. You know, but then let's, uh, let's empower his coordinators to, to do the work. You know, I think that's... You know, I think, I think he'll be good. I think there were, there were some, some issues with some clock management, some timeouts and some, some stuff here and there, but I mean, that could happen to any coach and you can just hire staff to help you with that as well. And so much as a head coach you gotta do, that's not just, not just the X's and O's. So I kinda like that aspect of it. Too many times I feel like young head coaches who are good coordinators who get elevated head coaching and still want to call the plays, you know, they struggle a little bit trying to adjust to all the other stuff they have to do as, as a head coach. All right, let's fly through these. There's Jamar Chase. There's a Hendon Hooker Bomb Squad car. That looks pretty cool. Cooper Cup Red, not numbered. There's Aiden O'Connell. There's Elite Series Cedric Tillman, not numbered. And there's a gold Jonathan Allen. 
Yeah, I agree, Devin. Antonio Peace does seem like one to lead. I, you know, I'm also in favor of maybe even... This is going to go to uh, Nicholas and my Raiders. I'm even in favor of keeping him around for a season or two, kind of build other parts of the team. And not, you know, not trade up for the, the, the big sexy quarterback names right there. There's Emmanuel Forbes with the Akius test in the background. CD Lamb, a lot of fun inserts here. There might be a lot of variations and stuff in here too, so. And, you know, all cards will ship. Eric Gay, a uh, gray, red. Jackson Smith and Jigba. Garrett Wilson. I've not seen our autograph or relic yet. Jameer Gibbs. The rookies. No, we'll see him in action this weekend, though. We'll see this guy this weekend. Elite Series Anthony Richardson. That's going to go to Devin. That's going to go to you, Devin, and the Colts. Good draw there. The Jameer Gibbs will go to Tristan and Detroit. Uh, Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, sorry, die cut. 72 out of 75. Which will be for Ryan and the Niners. We've got a rated rookie card, Anthony Richardson. Fans of the game, Rich Eisen's going to go to the Jets. And Jonathan Stewart, Gridiron Gray. Jonathan Stewart's your autograph for Carolina. Matt with the Panthers. Some decent penmanship there. I like that. Anthony Richardson will go to Denver. And he, I feel like he was on his way to a really nice season before uh, before the injury. But a lot of promise. A lot of promise. Jordan Asin had a nice season too before Kirk Cousins went down. Vikings, that'll go to Ryan. Uh, there's a 50 out of 50 gold. Tuli, Tui Puloto. Tui Puloto. I'll stick with that. That's going to go to the Chargers. That'll be for Tristan. Oh, here comes the Relic. And it's going to be... It's going to be passing the torch. Mark Brunel, 25 out of 199. Passing the torch to Trevor Lawrence, dual relic. To 199. That'll be for the Jaguars, that'll be for Matt. Two color dual relic. CJ Stroud, nice. Rated rookie purple. This is the kind of stuff we want to see. Joe Lawson. Joe and the Texans. Two out of 50. Congrats. Got a Will Levis right there. He might, he might, might be the, could be the Q 
QB of the future there. In Tennessee, that'll go to Nicholas. All right, nice start. All right, another box. Ravens uh, tight end Mark Andrew will not play against the Texans. Falcons completed a second interview with Belichick. Is Bill Belichick going to Atlanta? Rams or Rams? The Lions are the largest playoff favorite in franchise history. Six and a half. Banged up Bills again will sit wide receiver Davis and Rapp. Tomlin said fire has intensified. Expects an extension. Man pleads not guilty in the case of Patriots fans' death. Did everyone hear about this? This is a crazy story. One of two Rhode Island men charged with assault and battery and disorderly conduct in connection with the death of a fan in the New England Patriots game pleaded not guilty on Friday. In a brief appearance at the uh, Rentham, Rentham? Rentham? District Court, John Vieira, 59, entered the plea over the allegations that he and Justin Mitchell, 39, punched Dale Mooney of Newmarket, New Hampshire. Mooney, 53, was struck during an altercation at the September 17th game, my birthday, when the Patriots faced my, uh, the Miami Dolphins. Mooney was taken to the hospital and then he was pronounced dead. The Office of the Chief Medical Examiner provided preliminary indication that did not suggest traumatic injury, but did identify a medical issue, according to the district attorney's office. The cause and the manner of the death were undetermined at the time, pending further testing. Don't, don't, don't fight, ladies and gentlemen. avoid it. I mean, an accident, a mishap, someone slips, hit there, and then could be could be curtains. Devonta Smith, Elite Series, Miles Garrett. The uh, relic is popping early here. And it's Jersey Kings. More Jaguars jerseys. 275 out of 399. That's another one for Matt and the Jags. Little cat team mojo. I wonder, wonder what the plan is going to be for Hendon Hooker. Obviously, he came off, was coming off a major injury in college. He was definitely going to be sitting out this year. Nice Anthony Richardson, the rookies. It's another one for Devin, the Colts. All start. Chris Olave. Right, that DJ Moore purple is to one forty one. It's going to be for Mark and the Bears. What do the Bears do? They trade? Trade that pick? 
They trade down for more picks and pick, hold on to Justin Fields, or do they pick a quarterback? And there's your autograph, DJ Turner. This DJ be DJ Turner. Three out of 25 bangles. It's going to be for Devin in Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati, Devin. We're on to Cincinnati. Devontae Adams, nice, to 17. 9 out of 17. 917, it's my birthday. All right, third box coming up. What's up, Tristan? What's going on? Laporta. I'd like to see a Laporta. I don't think I've seen even a, a rookie card of his. Folks, we got another three box break in the store right now if you want to get into that. Got kind of an easy schedule coming up, except for the Clippers. So they can win some, stack some wins together, and then and beat the Clippers. I feel a lot better about the direction of the season. Maybe not have to make like a knee-jerk trade or anything like that. All right, final, third and final box. I thought this was gonna be two, it's actually three, so we're a little behind schedule, but I'll update all the times after as soon as we do this break. And believe it or not, we're actually, with the breaks that are lined up, we're kind of running out of time. I think all of the breaks that we have on the schedule kind of brings us to the, uh, to the fourth quarter of the show tonight, the final two hours. There's Juwan Johnson to 83. So yeah, so get in, get in on it before we run out of time. And uh, today is today is Friday and is my Friday. Big thanks to Jay, Jason who covered for me over the weekend in exchange for this day. And I'm only going to have one, uh, one weekend day before I'm right back at it on Sunday. So I'm not sure if I'm going to... Be sticking around here too late today, so I would get I would get your uh, your spots in now before we run out of time. There's Will Levis, the rookies. There's a no name variation. 
Bijan Robinson for the Falcons. Matt with the Falcons. Tyree Wilson, he started to look good towards the end of the season. If he could be like a guy that is on the other side of this one was numbered on the other side of uh, Max Crosby, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> he wasn't really expected to start as early as he did anyway. I think because of uh, the Chandler Jones incidents, kind of pressed him into service a little earlier than the Raiders wanted him to. That's out of a hundred. Now, as the season went on, started to look better and better towards the end. And a Jared Goff autograph, Dominator's autograph. That's a nice time to get his auto. Detroit, Tristan. Seventy-four out of two ninety-nine. Had a nice win last week. And he's got a chance to win a second game for the Lions when they host the Buccaneers. I'm on the. Uh, I'm on the lines, minus six and a half. You can see all of my picks for entertainment purposes only. You can see all my picks uh, on the break schedule under the tab, Joe's Picks. It'll take you to a Google spreadsheet. There'll be tabs along the bottom. All right, here's a Gridiron Kings insert, Sam Laporta. We want like one of those like rated rookie cards of his. Zach Evans purple, it's the 500. And we've got another Jaguar. I think three boxes, three Jaguars. The relic has been, always been Jaguars in this in this break. Here's Travis Etienne Jr. Matt with the Jags. Three hundred five out of three ninety nine. Hendon Hooker, Harrison Butker to 100, Darren Waller. Champs here, Harrison Butker for the Chiefs. That'll be for uh, Joe. Hendon Hooker is going to Tristan. And like LeBron missed like, or Clay Thompson missed like a couple seasons of basketball. Don't make too much out of that stat. LeBron three point stat. All right, there you go, gang. That is the break. Three boxes. Some solid stuff here. That CJ Stroud was nice. John, Johnson Stewart started things off. We got another three boxes in the store, so check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll do some more football with you next time.